I just found some really weird behavior in C that I want to share with you. Have a look at this piece of code. It's just a simple variable that is assigned the value zero. Then in the main method, in the printf statement, the value is printed three times, but each time it is incremented. Well, actually the first time it is printed, then the second time it is incremented, and the third time it is incremented again. What do you expect the output to be? Personally, I expected it to be zero. Mm, maybe one intuitively and then three, uh, two. So zero, one, two. But let's have a look what the compiler does. Let me compile that piece of code. Odd C output to a file that is called odd and execute right away. And the output is 210. So apparently the values are evaluated in reverse order. So the first variable here is this i, but it's, I still don't get it, honestly. <laughs> But somehow it's the last evaluation. Uh, uh. Well, okay, the I is evaluated three times. I can't explain what's going on, honestly. For some reason, this first I is put in this last digit. I don't get it. <laughs> Now, it gets even worse. Have a look at this. If I use a different C compiler, clang, it's just a different C compiler, and I compile that same, same piece of code, odd C, I think we can also use an output flag here. Oh no, let's not use one and have a different binary generated. And let's execute that binary, a.out. And this compiler pr uh, prints 001. I'm completely baffled what's going on. Now, the core issue here is that I can't find a reasonable explanation of what is going on because this is undefined behavior in C. C doesn't expect you to increment variables in function calls and those three calls they are all interconnected because they act on the same variable and the order of execution of those increments is not defined at least not on in the c language specification and that's why you get this really weird behavior and it differs with every compiler that you use and it can even differ within a single compiler because some compilers offer you the possibility to provide an optimization flag and depending on how much you want the compiler to optimize the code for performance, for example, or for obfuscation, it will compile the code differently and this will always result in different outputs. And it will only result in different outputs because this behavior is undefined. So this is the thing that I wanted to show you. Now, it's it infuriates me that there's no reasonable explanation on, <laughs> on why this is happening. And this all of this depends on the internal complexity of the compiler. If this was part of the C standard, this... Um, this order of execution, then it would be always the same result, but it is not. So we just have to accept what's going on. What is the solution now as a programmer? So you're a software engineer, you're a computer science student, and you're probably also freaking out right now. Um, one piece of code is, is printing out this, and the other piece of code, which is uh, the, the other binary which is resulting from the same piece of code is printing out something differently as uh, something something different what is the solution the solution is to write code that adheres to the c language specification and there are always best practices 
And here in this case, I would just make the code way more expressive and create individual variables that um, store the values that you want and then print those variables individually instead of computing them in this function in the function arguments where the order of execution is not even guaranteed yeah so this is why best practices in c and in any programming language are extremely important there are always those culprits that you can fall into um, and those kinds of bugs they can cause incredibly dangerous errors depending on the project that, that you're working on i want to end this video with a simple quote that is much up unhappiness has come ah, much unhappiness has come into the world because of bewilderment and things left unsaid fyodor dostoevsky so Guys, as a programmer, always adhere to best practices. Try to not freestyle your code or else you will land in those confusing situations, which will give you much unhappiness. And that is why it's important to learn programming in a correct and best practiced way. All right, and that is this short video. Uh, one is actually the shortest video ever on my channel. If you enjoyed this, then please leave a like and subscribe and consider becoming a Patreon. See you next time. Bye.